okay so i don't fly those big boeing planes but i do fly these small cessnas so this is pilot secret 2 finding best tickets let's go okay so most people here in the u.s take a vacation once or twice a year it's usually costing them a leg and an arm but what if i said you can take more vacation like five vacations a year and it's going to cost you just as much as a one vacation it's going to be super super cheap now here's what a usually vacation or like trip consists of usually you find a destination you say i'm going to go there in october 1st i'm going to come back on october 7th okay and then you find the destination you decide what you what to do at that place and you go search for a flight ticket okay and you realize that flight ticket is so expensive like you know a thousand bucks fifteen hundred twenty five hundred bucks okay now at that point here's what's going on in your mind so that's usually going to be your most expensive part of your vacation because you know think about it right you're spending twenty five hundred bucks for a ticket that's it okay now what if you could spend most of that money for like you know traveling attraction you know food restaurant now here's what you do you flip it now instead of finding the destination first you find the ticket first. Now, let's say you wanna go see the Eiffel Tower. It's not going anywhere. You can go to Eiffel Tower next time. So here's what you do. You get on Google Flights or Kayak, or it doesn't really matter, okay? It's, a, it's all the same thing. Now, you go there and what you do is you say, find me a ticket in these date, flexible dates, okay? And then find me a ticket anywhere, okay? Anywhere in the planet. Now, it's going to find you the cheapest price possible now for international five to six months a month months ahead of time for domestic about three to four months ahead of time so if you do that you'll find the cheapest price possible now okay i'm on kayak right i'm going to show you exactly how to do it okay so first of all go to kayak cheap flights whatever you want doesn't really matter okay you could use google flights so once you get there go ahead and put your uh you know from airport now this airport this can be something else as well so try your home airport first meaning the closest to you first and then if the flight is even if you want it even cheaper what you could try is an airport that's not near you for example I want, if let's say i want to go to nepal right what i'll do is i'll check the price from dallas and I'll also check the price from houston as well so do this okay and then what you can do is click here type anywhere okay like this okay and then flights wise so let's go ahead and do uh, in september okay and then departure uh, i'm flexible so i'm going to go ahead and do flexible uh return um, i am flexible as well so i'll put that as well so i'm flexible let's go ahead and search it like this now this way you're going to find the best prices ever now think of, take a look at this okay um i could go to uh new york for like cheap if i search right now it will be very very expensive now i can do that okay take a look at this at the bottom right i can go to denver for a hundred bucks okay uh it works it works every single time okay and not just for a domestic flight it also works for international flights as well i'm gonna go and check right here take a look at this okay this is like a round trip okay it's super super cheap okay it does work now, I also told you guys that you can also use a VPN as well. If you turn on the VPN and your business class will also be cheaper as well. Now, once you find that price, what you do is you go to the airline's direct site. Now, why do you do that? Here's why, okay? So if you book your tickets through, let's say, Google Flights or Kayak, that's a third party. You're actually giving them money as well. So for example, let's say I wanna go see, go to Kathmandu, right, from Dallas, Texas. Now. I'll search up a ticket in uh, kayak.com and then I'll go to Qatar Airlines and actually find the same date, same plane and book it through there because from there, number one, I have 24 hours to cancel that flight and get a full refund. That's the actual US law. You cannot do that if you book your ticket from like, you know, kayak or like, you know, cheap or blah, blah, blah. You can't do it through those sites. So that's why you do it. So if you do it this way, you know, flip it, right? You find the ticket first and then the destination okay that way your flights are going to be cheaper now what else can you do to find cheap tickets couple of things okay people think clearing their browser cache is going to help them it doesn't it doesn't work that way that used to be the case back in the day it doesn't work that way but what does work is changing your ip address now what you do is you get a vpn 
virtual private net network, okay? These are, this is Google, okay? VP, VPN, and find a free VPN and connect to it, okay? Usually I connect to like, you know, India, Nepal, Pakistan, right? And then I try to book my tickets through there, okay? I've actually found business class tickets for like pennies on dollar whenever I use VPN. It works every single time for me, okay? So do these things, okay? And then you can save so much money on tickets. Now, what do you do if you have to go to a certain place at a certain date? Now, in that case, your best bet is to, is being able to book the ticket as early as possible, like I said, okay? But, okay, you do have that, you know, time, but let's say you book a ticket, let's say three to four months ahead of the time, and then you find something cheaper, guess what? Call your credit card company and say, hey, you know, hey, just first call the airline and say, hey, I want a refund. Most likely they will give you a refund. If not, call your card company and say, hey, you know, I don't want, I'm, not, I'm not taking this uh, flight. Please go ahead and, you know, give me a refund. File a charge back. It's fine, okay? And then if you do it ahead of the time, it's fine, okay? So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to watch my video where I teach you about how to get a free upgrade to business class. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe right now if you want videos like this. Thank you so much.